Hello everyone. In this video, we have this nice exponential equation. We have x to the power square root of x is equal to 10. And we have to find the value of x. But before we begin, as always, pause the video and try first. And if you are new here, consider subscribed and also don't forget to like this video. Now let's get started. The very first thing I'm going to do is to introduce natural log on the both sides of the equation. So we have natural log of 10 over here. You can also choose to introduce log, but I prefer natural log to this. That is me, okay? So let's make progress. I'm going to move this whole thing to this side. So we have square root of x, natural log of x is equal to natural log of 10. Now what else can we do from here? Now we are looking for x in this equation. So if I divide each side of the equation by square root of x, I still have x here. And then x will also be here as well. So it will lead to something else, okay? I don't want to do that. Let's focus on this square root of x. Now we have square root of x over here and this could also be written as e to the power natural log of square root of x. Okay, so in place of this whole thing, I'm going to put this one. So we have e to the power natural log of square root of x times natural log of x and this is equal to natural log of 10. Now square root of x is also the same as x to the power one half okay so we have e to the power natural log of x to the power one half times natural log of x and this is equal to natural log of 10. now let's go ahead and then slowly move this one to this side so that we get e to the power one half natural log of x times natural log of x is equal to natural log of 10 okay now from here i want to express this whole thing in the form a e to the power a okay so i'm gonna move this whole thing to this side so we have natural log of x times e to the power one half natural log of x is equal to natural log of 10. now if you compare this one to this one it is not the same right so what i'll be doing is i'm going to multiply each side of the equation by one half okay right now you can see that what is here is the same as what is here so it is in the form of this right let me write it well so we have one half natural log of x e to the power one half natural log of x and this is equal to one half natural log of 10. Now let's go ahead and introduce Lambert's w function on the both sides of the equation. So we have w into one half natural log of x e to the power one half natural log of x is equal to w of one half natural log of 10. Okay. Lambert's w function is saying that w of let's say a e to the power a is equal to a okay so this left hand side we have one half natural log of x is equal to w of one half len of 10. now multiplying through by 2 we have len of x is equal to 2 times w of one half len of 10. okay since you are looking for x, let's introduce e on the both sides of the equation. So we have e to the power natural log of x is equal to e to the power 2 times w of 1 half ln of 10. Okay? Now this e and then this natural log will undo each other. So we have x is equal to e to the power 2 times w of 1 half ln of 10. And guess what? This is our final answer. And this is approximately equal to 3.453. Now in Wolfram Alpha, this is e to the power 2 times product log into 1 half natural log of 10 in bracket. Okay? Now before I leave you, go ahead and try this and then leave your answer in the comment section. We have 
x to the power x is equal to 2. So go ahead and try this and then let me know your answer in the comment section. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to like this video. Thanks a lot for watching. See you again on the next video.